Welcome back, Plug Nation. Today, man, we have a very important NBA 2K21 Next Gen affiliation talk about a leak that came out. We got grinding DFs, face reveal. I'm Davis, and annoying TV might be boxing. They got some serious beef and more. Stay tuned, drop a like, and let's get straight into the video, boys. I'm Davis, and annoying have a beef that's been lasting for about five months now that just got rejuvenated when Annoying posted a 2K community diss track and I'm Davis was in that. Then I'm Davis went to Twitter to say what he had to say, but first let's look at what started everything. About five months ago, someone in Annoying's chat was talking about wagering Davis and this is what he had to say. If he doesn't believe me, tell him to put up 50K, we can middleman it. On God, we can we can do like some, some contract and make this middleman on God, on Jesus Christ. Like I don't even, even want to swear, but like I would literally play that for fifty thousand dollars, like it's not even bro. It's not chatter. This is real life. <laughs> like no bull Davis is the freest cash ever, bro. So then Davis responded on Twitter with that little Twitch clip, and he said, "Crying face, banks aren't giving out loans right now." And you see, that got sixty thousand views. It went pretty viral for the two K community. And basically, what Davis was saying is, "Look, annoying." You don't got the money to do that. You don't got 50K to lose or you don't need to be putting up 50K because you don't got enough. You know what I'm saying? If you lose that, it's going to be real bad for you. And all that kind of died down pretty fast until Annoying dropped a 2K community diss track recently on his YouTube channel. Got 285,000 views right now. It's got Agent in the title. I'm Davis. Hank the Tank. He dissed a lot of people. But the main one that's really blown up is the I'm Davis diss. And this is what he had to say in his genius video that he made explaining the lyrics about why he dissed Davis. Banks aren't giving out loans right now. And when he said that shit, bro, I wanted to spaz, bro. I wanted to spaz. Um, I was going wild out on Twitter and like all my homies and shit, you know what I'm saying? And nobody holding me back now. When I made that song, I went in and I spit that shit, you know what I'm saying? And um, like how do, you know what I'm saying? Like how the I can't put up like girl my, my jewelry is 50 like you know what i'm saying like what is like i don't understand you know what i'm saying you have a rolex i got a cartier you know what i'm saying you got a tesla i got a mercedes you're on your first v i'm on my third v you know what i'm saying like you and i don't, I don't know you know what i'm saying but you know all my homies were telling me like yo bro maybe you misunderstood that tweet like maybe you read it wrong and i was like yeah bro you're right like maybe he was talking about himself so just when you thought Annoying was going to be like, all right, yeah, I read the tweet wrong. You know, he didn't mean it like that. He said, no, Davis was probably talking about himself, saying that Davis didn't have 50K. So on Twitter, this is where it all began, or at least what I've seen. Dudes renting cars and hiring videographers for a 2K community diss track, dot, dot, dot. It's not that serious, man. Crying face, crying face. And Davis responded to that. And he said, it's a bad look. 100 likes on that on just a reply to the tweet and it started getting real serious you know then davis responded on his twitter with the clip we just watched of him on that genius interview and he said this right here took you five months to respond to a tweet i know you pressed i'm not even gonna violate 2500 likes and that's pretty viral for the 2k community then davis says to his own tweet replies to it and says why this man talking about cars when he flexes rented i8s smh lol i'm done and then he made another tweet and he said, I was hoping you actually dissed me at Mario or Annoying so I could have rapped back, crying face. So, I mean, obviously Davis felt some sort of way about that a little bit. He made his own tweets and stuff. And then it got even bigger because everyone was seeing these tweets and then Cheezaholic tweeted out, can we see a boxing match between I'm Davis and Mario? Who else want to see that? And y'all could wager on that too. Do it for the community. A thousand likes on that. I mean, it was going crazy. And this is what Annoying had to say. He responded to it. And he said, not that deep, but I'm down for the content. Demon emojis, 300 likes. Then Davis responded and said, no, you're not. Stop lying to people. And later on, he deleted that tweet. Then Davis went on, wait, before we go any further, Further, comment down below who you guys think would actually win in a boxing match but then davis went on instagram live and he was talking to cheeseaholic and aiden and i'm not going to show you guys the whole thing he had a lot to say but this is what he said about boxing annoying and this video that we're going to be watching is from annoying's reaction because annoying reacted to that instagram live are you boxing annoying for let me talk because listen i'll pick let me talk you let me talk because i invited you my left so all right go ahead talk you know I, I would like sleep him in a, in a boxing match, like real. Davis. 
Two hours later. This you! So that was pretty much it for the video. Annoying basically just said that he would go to his city. Davis wouldn't have to go anywhere and that he wanted to box him before next gen comes out because, you know, they're both going to be grinding that. Then he tweeted out on Twitter and said, so what we doing? Let me know before I book my flight. Dot, dot, November 8th at I'm Davis with the demon emoji. So, hey, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys think they're going to box? And if so, who do you think is going to win this boxing match but we have a lot more to talk about that's probably just the most interesting beef we've had in like the last two years in the 2k community so i figured i would show you guys but we have a lot more to talk about as i said in the beginning of the video so today marked a pretty big day in the 2k community because it's going crazy right now my boy grinding df finally dropped his face reveal and it's going insane it has like 60,000 views in an hour and a half or something like that so congrats to him i'm not gonna ruin the face reveal if you guys haven't seen it make sure to go check it out on his channel and today boys into the big boy news all right if you do not remember, about two weeks ago, a man by the name of Ron Jesus leaked to us what the builds and everything looked like a few days before 2K themselves even showed us. He leaked this and he gave us all this information. I'm going to be showing the screenshot from Brutal Sims channel when he posted it, man. Great news channel, by the way. Great energy. We need to show more love in the 2K community. He posted this on October 18th, right? This was the build leak that we got. And then 2K gave us that on October 21st. So this man, he's got some inside information very clearly. It's obvious. It's 100%. It's not like 99. No, it's 100% that he has inside information on the game and he gave us all those leaks. Okay. Well, recently he has said that affiliations are going to be back on 2K21 next gen. Now, if you guys don't remember before 2K21 current gen came out, I gave you all a bunch of badge plug guarantees and the only one that has not came true yet because we don't know for sure right now is the 99% badge plug guarantee that I gave you guys if affiliations are going to be in the game. I said affiliations will be in 2K21 next gen, and if they're not, it's gonna be something very similar to that, right? Well, I had the pleasure of speaking to this man myself on Twitter, and this is what he recently told me on Twitter in the DMs. He said, just about affiliations, they're back, but they're different. I'm waiting for tonight to hear all the details. So once I know that, I will let you guys know. He says, affiliations are back in 2k21 next gen and real quick can i get a like on the video boys i called that out like four months ago all my loyal subs will tell all you new people man make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new but this is the 100 reason why i know 2k21 next gen is going to be lit in terms of having things that we used to like like having the affiliations in multiple parks and stuff like that i don't know if it's going to be like multiple parks it could just be like one big park or something but 2k as i told you guys with the w that came out we've seen that 2k made a whole like game mode for the girls you can make a girl player you can play people online they took a lot of time into doing that right and i told you all in that video that if they did that they're obviously putting a lot of time into the men my player neighborhood park whatever because that makes them so much more money and obviously they would put a lot of time into that as well even though it's 2k they're about their money at the end of the day you know they're going to be putting in a lot of work into that so my team and this is all going to correlate in just a second they posted this on twitter a little my team sneak peek of the 2k21 next gen triple threat courts where you can play three on three you see they're showing off lebron james you can also get these packs on 2k21 current gen but check out this court and then boom this next clip is a different court definitely by far you can you know pause it go back different courts to play triple threat on so right away i went to my boy who plays my team a lot i mean he's got a stacked team i like playing my team every now and then by the way on his account my team's cool this year anyway he told me because i asked him and i said yo does triple threat have multiple courts this year to play on he said no but kind of in triple threat this year there's a different court for when you're playing the computer but it's like the same thing just a few things are changed well if you look at that 
those are two completely different courts. You know what I'm saying? Those are definitely different. So 2K, they've made all this time to make the W game mode for the women, my players, and you can play against real people. There's a progression system. They're giving triple threat two courts. You don't think that 2K is going to be doing something crazy for the next gen. I mean, literally, I'm giving you guys 100% information, like 99.99% because the guy who gave us the build leaks is telling us that there's affiliations on next gen. But at the same time, I'm not going to say 100% because we actually haven't seen it with our own eyes. But you see everything that we're tying together. I mean, it's going to be in the game. We're going to be getting this news very soon, hopefully. And I can't wait to see what it looks like. So let me know in the comment section down below. Real quick, real quick before we go. Hold on. 2K, why can't we get closed like this back in the game, man? This dude tagged me on Twitter, and it just reminded me of the good days. Let's get some lit clothes in 2K21 next gen. We've had some good clothes this year. They did a good job of, of you know updating the store and all that, but let's get some old OG clothes in the game as well. Maybe like a certain drop that's just for like OG clothes, you know, from the old 2Ks or something like that. That'd be really cool. Anyway, H Boy Bash Plug, you've been plugged in. Drop a like on the video if you haven't yet. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Let me know how you feel about all this in the comment section down below about the new parks, about the affiliations, about I'm Davis and annoying wagering. How do you think Ronnie looks if you've seen this face reveal? Let me know in the comment section down below and I'm out. Peace.